I can't believe what I just saw. We made it to totality. Oh, there you go. Did you get a chance to check out the eclipse this morning? We didn't quite get uh, that situation here in town, but this is what it looked like right in the zone of totality in Carbondale, Illinois. It plunged areas into darkness for a few moments on its path from coast to coast today. And here in Arizona, we got a crescent sun instead of a full eclipse like that, but it was still a very cool experience if you were able to get out and check it out. Ryan Hare is down at the planetarium at the University of Arizona in Tucson. How was your experience with this? Oh, this was just so cool yet. Yeah, uh, and I think I can speak for the hundreds of people who are here. Uh, it's quieted down now quite a bit as the eclipse is over uh, under the skies of Tucson. We are outside of the Flanger Science Center and Planetarium on the University of Arizona campus. A great place to watch this uh, partial eclipse down here in Tucson. Lots of long lines to get glasses to get into the planetarium, maybe get a lesson while you're down here. Long lines to check out the eclipse through several telescopes that were set up outside of the planetarium. There were uh, six or seven of them and the lines would wrap all the way around the grass. Really cool to see that. Plenty of kids playing hooky, some homeschoolers who actually have to do assignments on what they learned and what a great place to do that. There were a couple of tents set up near the telescopes for experiments and learning. Take a listen to one of those experiments. We've been measuring the amount of light coming from the sun. We've been using a lux meter, which measures the amount of light per area. And so what we've been doing is just taking measurements every few minutes and plotting it on our graph here. Um, and, and what does this tell us? What does it tell you know, in layman's terms? So this is just showing us how much light is actually getting to us. Um, and during the eclipse, some of the sun was blocked, so we weren't getting as much light to us. Um, and at the peak of the eclipse, we got down to about 35,000 lux. Uh, and, and before the eclipse started, it was 90,000 lux. So that gives you idea, uh, an idea of how much heat uh, the sun provides the Earth. A really incredible lesson that a lot of kids and adults enjoy learning down here at the U of A today. One other note, this was the first day of classes for students at the U of A. A nice start to the semester. Yetta? And though we didn't get the full experience, you could definitely tell it did get a little bit uh, less, if so to speak. Ryan, thank you for that. Very cool. Schools across the country and right here in Arizona found ways to help the kids check out the eclipse safely. Kylie Cruz spent the morning at Meadows Middle School. It has been such an exciting day here at Madison Meadows Middle School. The students watched the eclipse. What did you think? I thought it was awesome. And what's happening right now? We are demonstrating the solar eclipse. So what's really cool is they were on the field earlier and now they are back here in the classroom. Molly, explain what you're doing. I am moving the moon <laughs> into its position. And this is great. I want to talk to Mr. Lamb. He is the science teacher about why something like this as we see Molly in the moon, why this is cool to be able to see it here and be outside as well earlier in the day. Now what this does, it's going to connect what they've seen outside, which is far away, to extremely up close. So they actually have a good, good, good view of actually what's happening with the moon here going across and blocking out the sun for a period of time. And it's so important that they make that connection so it sinks in and solidifies their learning when we do it. And all throughout the day, guys, they have had uh, data observations and different things that they have been working with. So definitely been a very memorable day here at Madison Meadows. And I think they'll always remember August 21st, 2017, the day that they got to take part in the solar eclipse. We'll send it back to you. A cool experience for them. Uh, thank you so much, Kylie. The first place to get the glimpse of the full 100% eclipse was the small farming town of Madras, Oregon. This is what it looked like as it reached full coverage there. Madras is a town of about only 6,500 people, but the estimates are they got about 100,000 people who flew there to check this out today. Traffic, obviously unbelievable there. They're running out of gas, but this view probably makes it all worthwhile. I mean, I guess we can say that, probably not for the folks there. And the eclipse ended its cross-country trip in South Carolina. It's the first time a total eclipse has gone coast to coast in about 100 years. The next one is in 2024. It's gonna come up from Mexico and pass through the South. Just about 15 minutes ago, a partial eclipse passed through Washington, D.C. And as you see here, President Trump and First Lady Melania, they went out onto the Truman balcony, balcony of the White House to watch. And yes, they did have their protective glasses on. One of the top spots to watch the eclipse here in Arizona was the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff. That's where Ian has been all day long.
Uh, Ian, how was your experience out there? I mean, because they basically had a party starting at 8 o'clock this morning. Oh, my gosh. It was crazy out here. We've had probably a couple, maybe a few thousand people here at Lowell Observatory in this area we're standing. It was packed. A nice view of downtown Flagstaff there. Uh, we're seeing a lot more sunshine now than we did earlier. We kind of started the morning with tons of clouds, but things have uh, brightened up a bit. And right as uh, the peak of the eclipse was happening, we did see a break in the clouds. And uh, there was a big ooh and ah and even some um, round of applause from the crowd. But but this whole place has uh, been pretty lively. Things are calming down now, obviously, because the eclipse is over. But uh, they've had food trucks here. They've had all the telescopes open and exhibits open. There have been uh, different astronomers here giving lectures. So they really made a big event of it and did a pretty good job uh, highlighting this uh, pretty important event for a lot of folks. And some folks, even though the eclipse is over, they're still kind of getting a little education on uh, space research and what they do here.